Duke Traps, America's best trap value, proudly presents... Welcome to North American Trapper today. We're actually going to go out on my canine line here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot of the sets that I make on our family land, which is mountainous ground. Uh, it's a little different, but it's not much different anywhere across the country. The methods I'm going to show you this week are going to help you be successful when you're out there trapping predators, whether it's bobcat, fox, coyote, it doesn't matter. These sets are going to work and they're going to take those critters for you. You know, one of the things I'm always looking for when I'm out on the line is a focal point. And anything that catches your eye is going to catch the animal's eye, too. And we have a perfect spot for that right here. We have a bunch of hay bales that are lining this two track right here. And we have one that's out in the middle of the field. Any of those predators, whether it's coyote, fox, bobcat, they're going to hunt along these hay bales because they're focal points. Plus, that's where mice live and things of that nature. So it doesn't matter if it's a hay bale or a single tree in a field or anything that catches your eye is going to catch that animal's eye. And, and I already counted a set in down here about 15 feet away, and I'm going to put another one right here and use this rock as my backing. But... Ultimately, when you're out there, whether you're on your ranch or your farm or you're you know, on your hunting lease, it really doesn't matter. If something's catching your eye, it's gonna catch that animal's eye as well. And that's a perfect place to put your set. So we're gonna just pound this one in right here and I'll get it dug out. Well, we got our ground talon down in there. That's what we're using for a staking system, our ground talon, heavy duty. And we're going to be putting a 550 in here. It's the same thing I put in over there, 550 Duke. Uh, I really, really, hey, you've heard me say it before, but I love these traps. Nice little night latch. They got those heavy cast jaws. Just a really fantastic trap. Now remember, when you're bedding this trap, you want to have that in there solid. And you want to be packing that dirt around the springs, the jaws, getting that packed in there heavy, really tight. You want to have that to where there's no movement whatsoever with this trap. Packing it in, getting it down in there, and now you can see... I have that in there pretty tight to where if that animal steps anywhere around that trap now, there's no wobble and no wiggle, and that trap is going to fire. And that's good right there. Um, you just want that uh, trap covered about a quarter inch of dirt over it, maybe a half an inch, and give them a place to work right in here come in and we're going to put our hole right here. As I said, this farm ground is really easy to dig in and you can really get a deep hole, which is exactly what I want. Anytime that you can get that hole deep, get it as deep as you can. It doesn't matter, 8 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, 14 inches. You want to make that animal work to get down in there. Let them know that there's something down in the bottom of that hole to where when they're working the set, they're not just, you know, giving it a, a quick glance over. They really got to get deep to get down into it. But uh, that's pretty deep right there. And we're going to use uh, some of our Mountain Man bait here, which is our four equal parts of ground Angus. Rendered prairie dog, fresh prairie dog, and uh, ground poultry. Get that right down in the hole, and that's really good. Um, we've been having a lot of success with this, and it's a really good bait. And we're going to top that off with a little bit of our, our madness lure. That's going to have uh, our skunk essence. We'll just grab this corn stalk, get that down in there. And that's really all you need. Just dip your stick in. We're going to put a little on top here and then drop that right down in the hole. Pound these sets in the ground. If you have populations of coyotes or fox and, and predators on your land, your ranch or your hunting lease, and you want to get some of them out of the equation, 
that's really all you have to do right there just pound these sets in the ground and you're going to get out of the way you put into it the more work you put into it the more animals you're going to catch handling nest raiders is our specialty and you can become the steward of your own land with our north american trapper scent package which includes our coon buster dp bait and magnet trailing scent our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our coon buster will then take over and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently look no further than our north american trapper combo scent package for all your predation control needs north american trapper proven products proven conservation Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Well, here's a really cool situation that you just don't find all the time. We're right on this two track right here and we're in big woods uh, in the middle of Pennsylvania, really big woods. And we have a hollow tree here and the animal traffic you can see it's 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 there's some tracks here i can't tell what they are but this is being used and pretty much it's a natural cubby uh you're gonna have coyotes fox coon bobcat fisher you're gonna have all those animals running this two track this is only about five or six feet off of the road and any animal that comes up through here is probably going to check this out just to kind of come in sniff around snoop around I'm not going to use any lure or bait here. Uh, I'm actually going to use the new number two dogless as well because uh, I can catch a fox here. I can catch a coon. I can hook into a fisher. Uh, I can hook into a bobcat, a coyote. And this trap's going to work for all those critters. Um, we got the heavy duty ground talent on here. But the one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use any lure and bait here. I think that any animal that's coming up by here is going to be checking this out and i want to keep this pretty much the way it looks right now too so there's really not a lot that you want to do here i'm just going to dig a little area for the trap to go and i'm not going to make this as you know gaudy as i usually do when i do a uh, normal canine set with a lot of eye appeal I'm going to actually just dig this out a little bit right here and make a place for my trap. And that's where the trap's going to go, right there. And then I'm going to cover it back up. This stuff's really dry, too. It's almost like it's peat moss. But uh, we're going to get the trap in there. But uh, this number two dog list that Duke put out is a really good trap. It's double base plated, center base swiveled. Uh, it's got an offset jaw um and the dogless so it's it's a nice trap and it's going to work good for uh for this situation right here so we'll get it set and it sets really flat and really level and we're going to get the steak pounded in all right we got that down in there and then we're just gonna set it and now that trap is going to bed nicely dig that out just a hair right there and that trap sets nicely right there pack the jaws you still want to pack it in tight make sure you have that trap in there tight you don't want any wobble any wiggle and that's what you want to do there but uh this is really cool. Find a natural cubby like this and to be able to put it in the ground is really, really uh, unique. We're just going to take this, uh, like I said, it's like peat moss. It's really dry. I don't have a pan cover, but what you can do a lot of times for a pan cover is you can just use a leaf. Put a leaf on there. That's going to keep the dirt from going under the pan. And we're going to cover this up. Just like that. I mean, that looks exactly the same as it was when we got here. And that, I'm not, like I said, I'm not putting any lure, I'm not putting any bait. Any animal working this two track is gonna come in here, investigate this natural cubby, this hollow tree. Uh, this is the coolest set that I've put in this year and hopefully uh, we'll have something hero. I only have about three days to trap over here, but Hopefully we'll have something in the next three days. If we don't, that's fine. But 
just pay attention out there uh, when you have a natural situation like this that presents itself use it to your fullest advantage and I couldn't be any more psyched I'm excited to uh, have this in the ground North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. The Trapper of the Week is Chris Langston, who is a wildlife biology major from Pennsylvania with a nice haul of red fox taken in one and three quarter dukes. Congratulations, Chris, and get your chance to be Trapper of the Week by visiting us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com. Well, we got us a nice uh, double and coon here today. Uh, that's a really big Pennsylvania coon right there. You don't get a much bigger than that. That's about 20 pounds. And this one over here is a really nice sized coon as well. But uh, it always is nice to start the day off with some in your traps these were actually not set for coon these were set for predators there's a boat ramp over here and I saw some coyote scat and some fox scat and I thought that they'd be working this edge right here this field edge right next to this big waterway hunting for mice or grouse or whatever they're hunting for and I felt that this would be a good area especially with that sign over there and uh, the coon seemed to get here before uh, before the canines did but Ultimately, I'm going to remake both of these sets and I'm going to make them in the same bed that both of these coon are in. I know a lot of guys out there don't like to maybe make a set in this catch circle. I like it. I like the disturbance. I've had always had success remaking sets in the same bed as long as you can. Sometimes, you know, it's, it, it's not possible if they mess it up too bad, but if I can make a remake a set where I have an animal and it doesn't matter if it's a possum, a skunk, a coon like this. I like that disturbance. I feel that that's going to draw the predators in uh, along with your bait and lures. And I just, I like the eye appeal. I like the scent and I'm going to remake both of these sets where they sit, right where they are, as I said, right after we get these coon taken care of. But remember that out there. Don't feel that you always have to pound a new set in. Uh, sometimes take a chance. Put that set back in that bed where you have uh, your critters because that's just an ultimate disturbance here. Any predator coming by is gonna notice this. This is their backyard, this is their home. They're gonna notice any disturbance and I'm gonna use that to my advantage, pound another dirt hole in and bed the trap right where both of these were. But uh, pretty awesome to start the day like this. We'll get these two taken care of, remake these and head on down the road. Let's take a look at the North American Trapper Product Spotlight. Well, this week on the North American Trapper Product Spotlight, I want to talk to you about our Alpha Tech gloves that we carry. Uh, these are really good. They're fully lined. They have a grip substance that's going to allow you to grab your traps. It's going to also keep your hands very warm and dry. And I like to use them a lot when I'm in the shed working on my traps, working on my baits and lures. It keeps the smell off of them, keeps the grease off your hands. And we're actually running a special right now on these. If you go to NorthAmericaTrapper.com and type in hashtag alpha, all caps, hashtag A. A-L-P-H-A, all caps, we're giving you half off on these Alpha Tech gloves. They're a really good glove, and they're ultimately something that I think everybody out there, you're going to like them. You're going to like them, and you're going to use them. They're going to be your go-to glove uh, a lot of times. But uh, make sure you go to NorthAmericanTrapper.com, check out our Alpha Tech 12-inch water gloves, and I'm sure you're going to be happy, especially getting 50% off. 
Handling nest raiders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP bait and magnet trailing scent. Our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper. Proven products. Proven conservation. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Boy, that's a pretty dog right there. Uh, you know, this, this isn't normally what you would think is a, a good coyote set, all these corn cobs here. I actually put this set in about four or five days ago. We got about two full days of rain, uh, remnants from one of the hurricanes that came up through. And the farmer in the meantime had come in and dumped these corn cobs right on the edge of my set. But my set was still working and I was like, yeah, I'll just leave it there. And I'll be dang, we come in here today and have this nice coyote. He's really primed up. The fur on him, uh, that's a really nice coyote. But uh, ultimately, we're just here on this edge row, right along a big creek. These coyotes come down off of these little mountains here at night, do some hunting down here, working these edgeways. Uh, and it really doesn't matter where you're at across the country. If you have any of these field edges, these, these little ditches where these rabbits and pheasants and grouse are going to be, you know, you're going to be able to put these traps in the ground and uh, catch these animals. He's got uh, his good pad catch there on the Duke 550. And, you know, whether you're using the Duke 550, the 650, the number two offset, uh, the number two dogless now, uh, all these traps are going to, you know, work great for you. So whether you're on your own farm, your own ranch, uh, you're out doing this uh, for others or working your hunt lease, uh, these traps are good, good traps, and they're going to work and hold these coyotes uh, or foxes or whatever you're after until you come to take care of them. Just dig our bed back out here. Where we're gonna bed the trap. It doesn't take much to do these remakes. Duke 550 set. You hear this night latch, click. And that is exactly where we want it. Now, as I've said before, you really need to pack this in around this trap, the dirt, so that it has no movement whatsoever. You want to have this bedded in there as solid as you can. So if that animal comes in and is walking around here, that if they hit anywhere on this trap, that's not going to wobble. If you have any wobble, they're backing off. Um, and they're just not coming back. If it's a fox, you're probably going to create a digger. And you definitely don't want that because then it becomes more of a hassle to catch them. So when you're putting these traps in the ground, no matter where you're at across the country, take the extra time, pack that dirt around the jaws to where there's absolutely no wobble anywhere you touch that trap it's stable and that's exactly what you're looking for and this is going to be not only attractive to uh the coyotes that know her scent but pretty much any predator that's coming through the area is going to uh be drawn to this find my pan even that out now we are going to put some of my mountain man down in there. Um, just take a corn cob. We're going to get that out of there, a good glove of that. And down in the hole it goes. Just for a little extra excitement. I'm not using any lure here. I'm not going to use anything but just a little bit of bait. And uh, ultimately, any predator that comes here, is going to work in here check this out all that scent that's around just remember out there 
this set's been in the ground, as I said, for five days. And we finally caught a dog on the on the fifth night. Now, we did have some rains that kind of put a, a damper on our, our plans, but when you're out there trapping these predators, make sure you uh, leave the sets in the ground. If you come and you see a coyote track where he didn't work the set, you didn't do anything wrong. If you wait, they're going to come back and they're going to work the set. Sometimes they're just not interested. Sometimes they're a little leery. It really doesn't matter what the reason is. If you see any sign around your sets, stay away from them. Don't put any more lure. Don't put any more bait. Those animals know they're there. So if you're on your ranch and you're driving by a fence post or you're on a farm and you're driving through your fields and you have these sets in the ground just drive by them if they're still set leave them alone it doesn't matter if anything's around them you've done nothing wrong because if you leave them work for you they will work for you in the end patience is definitely a virtue when it comes to trapping and uh, i wish you all a lot of patience because if you have patience it'll pay off well, that's my predator line here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I love getting up there, trapping the family man. My dad was running the camera, and just having him along with me is, is enjoyable as well. But the methods and techniques that I showed you with that Duke 550 and the number two uh, dogless now that Duke has out there, all of those methods, all of that equipment is going to work for you, and that's really all you need. You bed your trap properly. You put something down in the hole that invites that animal to come in and work that set and you're going to be successful and it doesn't matter anywhere across the country you're going to have success as well if you need any products make sure you stop by northamericantrapper.com we have pretty much everything you're going to need from traps to baits lures all the equipment that's going to help you be successful next time you go in the field proven products equals proven conservation and we'll see you next